अच्छा मोहन ऋषा मोहन 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 अंड वेंकटेश्वर मोहन इज देर because uh, then i'll start the session before please record the session you want me to call him i don't know that person for number you know please uh, uh, call to mohan and please uh, please record the session i have uh, vishal's number i'll call to him and uh, let him know that ha uh... ah, okay 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 हेलो हाँ या हेलो या हाय विशाल दिस इज सुरेश या या ये लाइक ही वांट्स टू द सेशन टू बी रिकॉर्डेड समथिंग We shall totally contact you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mother. Mother. Yeah, yeah. This session, yeah. this session is already been recorded. I mean to say, it's like it's recording right now. So don't you worry. It's like all the sessions are recorded till now, right? Okay, okay, okay. Then shall I start the session, sir? Yeah, yeah. You can start the session. Okay, okay. Next, uh, uh, um. okay uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will start with the revision and backup sessions don't worry uh, each and every concept i will discuss into clearly no problem and uh, uh, non static and static methods is over thanks suresh yeah we did yesterday uh, static and non static object of a class context of a class that architecture yeah. Uh, yeah uh, non static method non static method and static methods is over yeah it is over we did it yesterday right uh, yeah. local variables is over local variables no yeah see that
local variables what is the local variables what is the local variables means if you can define if 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 you can define any variables you can define if you can define any variables within the methods within the methods that methods are non static as static and the main method whatever it may that method whatever it may be that methods whatever it may be that methods you can define any variables if you can define any variables within the methods that variables is called that variables are called local variables local variables local variables and uh, the local variables are the the local variables are uh, available available only only within the class and within the class the local variables are the local variables are not possible not possible to not possible to access the outside of the class outside of the outside of the class for example like then i will take one more example lock my class name is lock class name is lock dot java here uh, int x is equal to whatever variables this one non static or static variable ibrahim is a non static or static variable non static yeah thank you like it, it is a non static variables and next one static static float f is equal to 12 10. then it is a it is a amit amin choudhary yeah static variable it is a static or non static variable static what it is static just yes, thank you static variables here what is the local variables means if you can define any variables if you can define any variables within the methods for example like a public public void a it is a non stop it is a non static method it is a non static method long l is equal to like a 1 long l is equal to 1 it is a it is a local variables see that this one and this one both are same or not both are same outside of the methods and within the class that variables without a static keyword that variables is called non static variable and within the methods within the methods that variables is called local variable if you can define any variable like here also i will define one more variable like a double t is equal to 2 okay now and it is a static then i will define one more public static void b here also then i will define 
uh, by b is equal to 2 and here I will specify to 3. Okay now, right now three types of variables in Java. What are their means? Non-static, static and local variables. Like a without a static keyword, you can define within the class and outside of the methods is called non-static variables. Non-static variables are dynamic variables to perform the non-static variable operations using object. And the next one is nothing but a static variables. With the static keyword and within the yeah. class and outside. Yeah. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, uh, tell me, tell me. Uh, actually, I was not uh, attending uh, the previous classes. Uh, could you please just uh, give a short definition of static and non-static variables? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See that. So, what is the non-static means? Thank you. Right now, then I will comment this one. Here, it is a total main class area and it is a main method area. It is a main method area. If you can define any variable, if you can define any variable within the class, within the class and outside of the main method, outside of the main method without a static keyword, without a static keyword. The type of variables is called non-static variables. If you can define any variables within the class, like it is a class, it is a like it is a main class and it is a main main method, main class and main method. Right now, you can define any variable within the class of the place without a static keyword. That type of variables is called non-static variables. And to define any static variable, to define any, sorry, we can define any variables within the class with the static keyword. For example, right here, I will remove a static keyword. What type of variables? Non-static variables. Then I will not define any static keyword. Then. Every static keyword uh, started with static. Yeah. Like here. To for yeah. Yeah. To specify the static uh, within before property to define static keyword before property. That property is nothing but a static property. Without a static keyword of the statement, our property is nothing but a non-static property. For example. Public wide A, public static wide. Here, what is the non static and static? Tell me. Russian? Yes, um, I'm just saying in general because I didn't um, attend the previous yeah. class. So, static means okay. something is like in equilibrium position. Like, yeah, yeah here, here. It's what like is not changing. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Here, what is the non-static and what is the static method here? I will define 6th line to 13th line. What is the static method and what is the non-static method? Arshin? Me? Here, the total I will declare two methods. What are the static method and what is the non-static method? The two statements. Um. As I said that I I didn't attend the previous classes, so I cannot okay. uh, tell that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is exactly. Nothing but, yeah, it is nothing but a static method because here static is there. Oh, okay. okay, okay. As long as uh, as long as the method is the static is static, and then uh, as long as there is no static uh, word, then it's non-static. Non okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And right now, I will define three methods. Then right now, I am defined three methods. What are the three methods means? A method, 
B method and main method. Okay, now here right now the L and B and D variables are available within the methods like a, then uh, L value. Then right now here I will give space file uh, system dot out dot print ln is equal to b and here also I will specify to system dot out dot print ln is equal to d. Okay now right now right now one non-static variable is there one static variable is there three lo three local variables are available. Three local variables are available. Three local variables are available. Simple, what is the local variables means? If you can define any variables within the methods, if you can define, if you can define, if you can define, any variables within the methods, if you can define any variables within the methods, within the methods of variables is called local variables. Local variables. That is the one point. Then I will compile. Then command prompt. There like a search. CLS. Java C. What is the class name? No. Come in. Tell me. Tell me. One minute. Yeah. Ask me. Ask me. Lock. Yeah, I mean Chaudhary. Ask me. No, I'm saying the class name is Lock. I'm answering Lock. It's okay. Right now, clear? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And next up, Java now. What is the output? 3.0 because only the main method it will be run in case. Right now, the D variable means local variable is the initialized variable or uninitialized variable. I mean, uh, sorry. this is an un uninitialized. Uninitialized variable. The What is the exception? The variable D, the variable D may not be initialized. Means, why the exception is given to compile time means? Like a, the JVM, it will not provide any default values to local variables. The JVM provides default values only non static and static variables. The default initialization applicable only non-static and static the default initialization not applicable for local variable if in our application in our program if you can define any local variables within the local variables to specify the value of local variable without value it will not possible to compile any java programming language is it clear or not? If any person, any doubts, please ask me. Yes, Tom, I have a question. Yeah, ask. Okay, no, I was checking the error. It says that uh, variable D might have been initialized. I'm just yes, trying yes. to find. Yeah, what, since you know all the local variables are not initialized, why did the error just show uh, one variable D? Oh, what, what, what? Please, please repeat again. Sorry. Can we go to the program? Once? Yeah, okay. Okay. Now I'm asking, you know, we have three local variables, right? Yes. yes. We have, given, we have given, you know, print command for all three variables. And yeah. all the three variables are not initialized. Oh, okay. Now I got it. L and V are initialized. I was yeah. wondering why L and B did not show an error. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't realize that these are initialized. So that's fine. Yeah, just uh, then I will show it exception. If to specify any value to local variable, then it no, will no. do that exception. 
no, no, I thought that uh, even B and L are not initialized. I yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Then, then I the two are also uninitialized yeah. variable. Then how to accessing the B method within the main method? Samit, how to accessing B method? B is yes. how to accept what? How to access? Because if you want to B method output, then compulsory to access the B method within the main method. But we have to, we have to, to get the, we have to initialize it since it's a local variable, right? Yeah, I. So to, in the in the main method, we can create an object for that. Hey, no, it is a static method. The static method is directly available. No need of any object. Static method. If you want to non-static method, then you can create an object. Constructor semicolon L1 dot what is the method name A. Here totally how many variables? Three local variables. Two are uninitialized variable, one is a initialized variable. Total how many exceptions are there? Summit. How many errors are there? Two errors. Yes, sir. A, B, and in case the L variable is also uninitialized variable, then it is also give the exception. Locally three variables. Mm -hmm. Is it clear, Samit? Yes, yes, it is clear. Okay, okay. Because just to, I will show it simple logic. Minutes. Comment this one. Long L is equal to what? Then I will comment this one. Like a byte. B is equal to Double D is equal to three. Right now, it is successfully it is successfully com com compiled. Under successfully, it will give the value two and zero, two and one. It's okay, Samit. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. It means anybody any questions? Chaudhary, Devang, Vyas, Ibrahim, Kaushal, and Shin, Praveen, Shagan, and Vengar Suresh. No questions. No questions. Yeah, thank you. Here, what is that? What is the local variables means? If we can define any variable, or if any variables are, if any variable is available within the methods, if any variable is available within the methods, that methods are non-static or static or main method. Whatever it may be, that methods are available in our class. Within the methods of the variables is called local variables. The local variables are the local variables are doesn't support a default initialization. If you want to local variables in our application, if you want to local variables in our application, compulsory initialize the local variable value. That is a fixer okay now and also and also here also i will define one more variable one more variable is nothing but a float f is equal to 10 float f is equal to 10 and i will take one more example like a uh, log one save then Okay, last name is log1.java. Here, I want to f variable. I want to f variable. Already, the f variable is available log.java program of the local variable. The local variables are, is it possible to access the outside of the class or not? Means, the local variables are available if in case Within the A method, I will declare to I will declare 500 variables. 500 variables. But I want to 500 variables. But I want to 200 variables. Uh, I want to lock lock one dot Java program. Then is it possible to access the 200 variables within the login one dot Java program? No. Is it possible or not? Only I want to, out of 500, I want only 200. Is it possible or not? 
not possible not possible because if you want to if you want to local variables 200 variable it will not possible to split then once to access the method name the total variables are available outside of the class only how to access the local variables outside of the classes means through method name using method name to access the all statements of the within the methods simple one or two statements it will not possible to access the outside of the class that is the reason that is the reason the non static and static variables are available within the class and outside of the any class because to access the non static variable to access the non static variable within the class and the outside of the any class to access the non static variable within the class and the outside of the any class by using object and also to access the static variable within the class directly available outside of the class using of outside of the class using class name but uh, very very important point uh, the local variables the local variable is it will be possible to access the outside of the classes means the local variables are available only within the class the local variables it will not possible to access the outside of the class that is a fixed the local variables are not available outside of the class and or are it will not possible to access the local variables outside of the class okay now it is a clear or not only three variables java contains three variable non static static and local variable non static and static variables are available within the class and outside of the class but the local variables are the local variables are not available outside of the class the local variables are available only within the class i have a question class yeah tell me um when you give a print statement um to print Printer? the yeah print f and uh, no, i mean does it give the value as 10 or does it give as value as 100 um if you if you print the value of f yeah yeah, yeah. then f yeah, the output yeah. is equal to 10.0 10.0 point, uh, 10.0 because it is a decimal representation if to give the uh, to the bit uh, float and double is nothing but a float and double is a decimal no, character decimal you have also defined a static float f is uh, in, in the class there is also static uh, variable right f same variable the value is 100 yeah sorry 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 no no both are different memory because it is a within the method yeah. and it is nothing but outside of the method this memory is different and the total a method memory is different and f f memory is different but within the f is equal to 10 it will not possible okay now show it output then ls 10.0 is it clear kaushal but if we want to uh, print it as 100 how do we if, then look to common is this one automatically it will be called to static variable oh got it got it got it okay now see that output is it clear kaushal yes yes sumit okay. okay. so, it's okay it's okay so so the static and non static variables which are within the class when we run yeah. the program it won't it won't print those variables unless you ask for it in the method right yes yes correct if that uh, the f variable is available within the methods then the f value it will be take within the methods the f variable is not available then go for static or non static variable then go for priority okay okay anybody why do anybody need why do we need static but this non static uh, what what why do we need this static uh, but static is, static is nothing but a constant if you want to any variable constant level then you to specify the static keyword no need of no need of static behavior 
than to specify the means depending upon in your requirements. For example, like a, I will declare one variable f and then to specify the static keyword. No need of constant, then directly without static keyword, no problem. Because non-static variables are dynamic variables and static variables are constant variables. Okay, okay now. Already I will show it example level like how to how to work the non-static, how to work the static each and everyone I will show in programmatic level. Suresh and Yesh and Pravin and one more GPS Devang the people so you know how to work the non-static and how to work the static variables each and every step I will discussing in like a programmatic level. Yes or no Devang? Okay. Devang? Yes sir. Are you understood in this point or not? Each and every point. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I have so a question. Anybody? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, uh, we can use uh, static and non static variables inside the method. Yeah. Like, here, uh, the if, if we, we are able to use. So, it seems that we can use a static inside the method. So, we can. No, the no, same it thing, will not uh, be possible. Yeah. Then I will specify to start. Uh, but we used if inside the method, right? Yeah, because it only to specify the static within the method. The static keyword is applicable all statements. Uh, okay, so once we said that uh, static plot, uh, static, then it, I mean the method's name yeah. also start should we start with the static? Okay, yeah, yeah. but to, if we. Mm -hmm. If we remove the static uh, in front of the plot, then uh, we sh I mean, uh, then the static word should not be the method. Also, yeah. my confusion yeah. is like you yeah. say that we use the variable if uh, in the main method and also in the like public uh, inside of that method also if like here if a stem oh, no, no. at that time. Yeah, yeah, depending upon depending upon any requirements, if you want to be variable. If you want to F variable within the class and outside of the class also, then to specify the variable outside of the method. I want to F variable only within the method, then to specify the within the method. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks. Anybody? If any questions? Okay. Next, it is nothing but a non-static and a static variable. Okay, now. Next, to go for another one is nothing but a... Another one is nothing but a... Garbage collection for garbage garbage collector garbage collection for our garbage collector very very important point here what is the garbage collector and what is the garbage collector means the useless data on the unrelated data in the current program useless data or unrelated data in the current program current program the JVM the JVM forward 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 to a forward to a garbage garbage Collector, garbage collector, garbage collector, at the at the time of at the time of at the time of at the time of runtime at the time of runtime and we can perform. We can perform. We can perform. We 
any operation on garbage collection or a garbage collector using GC method using GC method for example for example I will take one example ex save ex ex dot java here I will specify to in tax is equal to 100 under like a um, static load f is equal to 20 and here I will specify to another variable y is equal to 200 then here I will specify to 30 save like a ex e1 is equal to new ex constructor right now e1 contains e1 contains how many variables e1 contains how many variables three three variables yes correct then i want to system dot al dot println e1 dot e1 dot x e1 dot x but right now the object contains two variables three variables but within the using object i will i am using only one variable i am using only one variable like a come to program ex dot java program after compilation is over java c ex dot java then it will be convert into a e, e dot class file then within the e dot class file it will be contained total like a line number one to line number 12 the total statements are available the total statements are available within the dot class file then after after it will be converted into a dot exe file right now the dot exe file contain only main method the dot exe contains main method only it the exe file not be stored third line fourth line first line second line and tenth line the exe file contains only main method okay now the main method contains the main method contains how many variable i'm choudhary main method contains how many variable uh, one ah right now after memory allocation is over the memory allocation is available within the main method right now the main method contains how many variable three three variables after memory allocation is over the exe file dot not will stored main class then exe file it will be stored only main method the main method contain one memory when the object is created within the main map within the main method x y and f variable is available like a, within the exe file contains three variables are available after it will be four forward into a ram ram under exe file but ram it will be executed only one variable ram executed only one variable the remaining variables the ram it will be forwarded into a garbage collector it will not possible to run the remaining two variable value because it is a useless data or are unrelated data in the current program the jvm the jvm forwarded into a garbage collector at the time of runtime at the time of runtime is it clear or not anybody one by one please ask me so this x and y are local variable right uh, outside yeah, the so x and y is nothing but a non static variable and f variable is a static variable but they are also local variable right x and y are local variable or no 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 if you want to x and y variable then to access the within the class already i am discussing to access the non static variable within the class is available and outside of the class also available oh, okay. it is a non static it is a static variable when you are creating the object the object contains save three variable but using object i am performing only one variable operation the remaining two variable memory allocation of object that is a wastage memory in program the jvm forwarded into a garbage collector at the time of runtime okay now if in case if in case 
again to declare the another variable like a system dot out dot println is equal println is equal e1 dot y e1 dot y but uh, here the y variable is right now available the y variable is right now available garbage collector but when you are compiling again when you are compiling again java c ex dot java Okay, now hundred comma twenty. Okay, now in case if any variable is here, object contains three variable. Within the three variables, any variable are not using the JVM forward identity garbage collector at the time of. Okay, now Amit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One by one, please ask me. So only you... during runtime, whatever uh, whatever variables are not being used will be sent. But it stays in the in, in the class, right? They, they stay in the class. Only at runtime they will be sent to the driver. Because the RAM memory is a very small. If you every mission, the memory is a small. If you can define thousand variables, the, within the thousand variable you can using only two hundred variable. The remaining 800 variables the JVM forward into a garbage collector because it is a waste memory within the RAM. It will not maintain the bulk of data RAM. Okay, so garbage collection is just meant for RAM, right? Uh, RAM. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Narshin, ask me. Yeah, so like here you put uh, ex.java and then uh, ex.class and ex.exe. What's the uh, difference of them and then another question is uh, RAM is uh, using for uh, here RAM is using for the uh, garbage collector no because if every Java program when the compilation is over then it will be converted into a dot class file dot class file it is a byte code but internal okay. internally the JVM the class file it will be converting into exe file. The exe file contain only main method only. The mm -hmm. exe file contain only main method. The JVM internal operation, the exe file forward into a RAM. RAM it will be run. RAM it will be run under RAM working under JVM. RAM working under JVM. Finally, the RAM it will be run. Finally, it will give the output. Okay, and then uh, what will contain uh, exe Java and exe class? Like you said, exe uh, like ex exe exe contains just uh, uh, the main, yeah. Executable and then whatever, what about exe Java? What uh, what uh, it contains like ex Java and ex class? What are they contain? Yeah. They contain everything or because exe file is nothing but a if any RAM if any machine RAM working. Compulsory every file compulsory in the format of exe file. If the RAM it will be run, if any mission, if every file compulsory should be maintained the exe file. That is the reason. If every class file internally it will be converted into a exe file format. Without exe file format, the JVM it will not possible to maintain the within the RAM location. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, then uh, why we use the exe Java and uh, like Java C exe those things? And yes, it class. is a compilation. It, it is a compilation. It is a Java program. After compilation is over, then it will be converted into a dot class file. Dot class okay. file. The dot class file is nothing but a user understand user not understanding format. Okay. The dot class file language it will be understanding only mission level language. Okay, okay I got it. Yeah. Anybody? Bangar Suresh? I mean, are you clear or not? Yes, I'm clear. So, there's another variable, uh, static, which we can call without uh, the constructor. Uh, without object. Yeah. 
without object. So we can call f just. Uh, just then, here main method is a static method or non-static method? Static. Then the static variables within the static block directly available. Okay. Okay, for our using object also no problem. Is it clear on Chaudhary? Yeah. Anybody? So, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Ah, ask me, ask me. So, uh, so now there is no garbage value, right? Yeah, there is no any garbage value. Okay. Okay. Okay, now means. Here, like a, what is a, uh, the C++, the C++ only allocate a memory, allocate a memory, but Java allocate a memory and do B allocate a memory. What is the difference between C++ and Java already, I was discussing in the previous class, the C++ only allocate a memory and the Java allocate a memory and do D allocate a memory. Is it clear? Yeah. Previous class I was discussing too. What is the difference between C++ and Java? At that time I was discussed too. C++ only allocate a memory and Java language allocate a memory and D allocate a memory. Is it clear? Java is more efficient than memory management. Memory allocate a memory and D allocate memory is efficient. If you only allocate a memory without using variable. The RAM it will be allocated memory. The RAM allocated memory useless data that is wastage memory. If you want a variable then to store the value. If you don't want any variable within the RAM, then no need of memory of RAM. Is it clear, Chaudhary? Yeah. Okay, anybody? Any questions? Bengal Suresh? Yeah, no, no questions. Samit, any? So the garbage collection is just meant for the variables or it can uh, take um, other things out also. Out of, if, you, if, you, if you can use variable, then using nothing but a garbage, sorry. If you don't any, like you have three variables, then you are using only two variables. The remaining variable memory allocation is based within the RAM. Within the RAM, no, I got the yeah, no, I was wondering, the, so garbage collection only takes care of takes care of the variables useless. which are not being used, right? Useless, useless data, useless memory. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, then, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, one more question. Yeah, 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 one more. Yeah, then, uh, very, very important, it's the correct point, too. It's a correct, very, very point. For example, like a, it is a garbage collector memory. It is a garbage collector memory. One minute, one minute. It is a garbage collector memory. One minute. Yeah, GPS, see that. It is a garbage collector. The garbage collector like a, it is a block one, block two. Block one size is equal, for example, like a one GP. For example, like a, uh, not a one GP exactly, I don't know. Depending upon hard disk, depending upon hard disk and RAM, the uh, uh, garbage collector memory is available. Then it is a 4 GP. Right now, uh, like uh, I am not using any variable like a uh, comments to variables. Right now, why variable and F variable, it's, it will become to garbage collector memory. Garbage collector memory. This memory size is called 1 GP. The first variable, it will become to 
first variable it will be comes to what is the variable like a f variable it will be comes f variable it will be comes f variable for example like a final value f variable for example like a final value i come final value it will be occupied ram i think uh, we are losing your voice what what did you we we losing your voice yeah yeah Okay, it's okay. GPS. GPS. Is it clear right now, my voice? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, now here the first black the first black memory size is equal to one GP. Right now I am using only one variable. The Y variable total how many variables are garbage collector? Two variables. Y fund Y variable. Right now the Y variable it will be comes to garbage collector. So, for example, like a y variable size is equal to 500 and it is the occupy and remaining y variable 500 and b is nothing but a free space. Then again, it will become to y variable. It is also garbage collector. The y variable size is equal, for example, like a 500 and b, 700 and b. Right now, the black one, black two, black three. Like a for black one. How many how many memory is free 500 MB? But the variable to insert the garbage collector required to remaining 200 MB. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? But within the occupy of the 500 MB into EVM free the 200 MB. The 200 MB it will be comes to 200 MB it will be comes to second block. Okay now. Nah? Right now. How many space is the free space here? It is two hundred, two hundred. Only two hundred MB. I will uh, free remove within the block one. The two hundred MB memory it will be comes to second block. The JVM it will be again into value. Then five hundred MB occupy. But uh, within the five hundred MB I will free to two hundred MB. The two hundred MB it will be comes to data second block. Here three hundred MB is occupy. 200 MB is occupied, then 200 MB is this space. 200 MB plus 500 MB, 700 MB. Uh, after you will be comes to second block. Means how much, how much, how much memory is available within the block particular variable? That particular memory it will be free to blocks. That is the purpose of the memory allocation. If the totally the final block three is also full, the memory final three also full. Then this one is also full, and this one is also full. The final is the data; it will be delete, but it will not possible to perform delete operation. Data delete. Why means? Why means the garbage collector every time allocate a memory and do de-allocate a memory. That is the reason. Most likely, up to one block it will be full. The second block also it will not possible to full the memory because every time allocate a memory and de-allocate a memory means. The y variable and the x variable insert the data within the garbage collector and take the data to the program every time. Okay now, it is nothing but a memory allocation like that garbage collector. GPS, it's okay right now. Ah uh, yes. Yes. Okay now, then that is the operation of garbage collector memory allocation. Is that clear? GPS, if any doubts. Ah uh, no, thank you. Okay, thank you. If anybody any questions? I mean, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, okay, thank you. And uh, already uh, previous uh, then I was given to one material in the online. Please read this one. If any not understanding, if any points. Uh, If it's a each and every point is a clear. Each and every point, each and every object, variables, operators, environment, set of futures, and each and every one is a clear. Yes. Okay. Yes. Most likely tomorrow I will take tomorrow I will take backup session. Most likely I will think, and I am asked to Mohan Mohan. 
then if you give the if he was give the permission if you will give the permission then i will start with the uh, backup sessions because i am not starting any classes it is a basic uh, how to define the program how to declare the variables how to access the variables one class to another class each and every one is nothing but like a simple concept i have not started any courses course java okay mohan yes uh, i mean to say uh, what time would be suitable for you uh, i mean to say for the backup session because we gonna to continue like to do session continuously i mean to say uh, say suppose it's like if at all you are taking the session uh, by 7 o'clock So seven to eight would be the backup session, and from eight onward, it would be the regular session, right? No, no problem. Because and also once Mohan, uh, don't worry. Once the batch it will be fixed, then I will take the one and a half hour class. No problem. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. Because also some people are some people are not understanding my class. The reason is there. Uh, some people are missing uh, basic fundamentals like a uh, first to previous classes. some people are asking like a, how to access that is the reason without backup session the remaining people are not following my classes so how uh, i mean to say uh, how much do you think how long it would take uh, uh, to follow the backup session is like how many hours you need more most probably it will be take like a two and a half hours three hours so two and a half hours say three hours okay so yeah two and a half so uh, this can fix like an uh, Uh, maybe it's like at seven o'clock for three days. It's like seven to uh, probably nine. Uh, that would be our session time, right? Three days. Uh, the first class for one hour. Only the people who have not taken who have missed the classes, we can arrange from seven to eight for them. And from eight onwards, uh, that would be regular session every time. So uh, everyone agrees on that. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like how many people who yeah. attend the backup session? Uh, I agree. Uh, yeah. Your name on it. Get that. I want. I want the backup session. I want the backup session. You know, just uh, put on the chat how many people require the backup session. Uh, I have a question. I want the backup uh, since I didn't uh, attend the previous classes. But my question is, if I had like two class simultaneously backup and new class, I think it's maybe huge. So instead of having the backup classes, and I'm going to again forward. So again, it's a problem. So maybe it's better, yeah. impossible. Backup class first, uh, one or two classes backup, and then we can go forward. Okay. So you want to complete entire session. uh will it be avail i mean to say it, uh, one day entire backup session but that would be too long class for you right uh, ram uh tell me mohan yeah yeah uh if at all we can figure it out uh, in one day itself but that too it would be very long session for you right no no uh, no problem mohan then i will take no problem like up to 6 to like a 5:30 my timing indian timing means 5:30 to 8 or 6 to 8 is also no problem Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, we do the backup session uh, by Thursday or by Friday. What time would be suitable for you? Uh, Friday, sir. Uh, Friday or uh, Thursday or Friday. Which time? I mean, to say, which day would be more suitable for you uh, to create But, a backup? But what's you know? Tell me, in our like in our time, then I will do that. Uh, is it possible or not? Uh, yeah, because it's like uh, if at all we want to conduct the backup session, as you told that we require a uh, two to three hours a backup session, right? That's what you told me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Uh, so maybe that we can do the session from uh, uh, six thirty uh, Eastern time, right? To eight thirty, one and a half hour. Try to finish it up, uh, and yes. then we gonna to start a regular class. Right, students try to cope up even uh, from your sides. Right, uh, try uh, Ram. Just give me, uh, give them a little bit some of the topics that they would read from their home. Right, uh, for uh, Friday. Right, till Friday they should do a little bit of their background work. Right, and that too is like again by the Friday you take one and half hour uh, backup session, uh, and then they can cope up easily with both of them. Right. Majority, majority people are also not following my classes because there is an easy nothing but a. Uh, most of the seventy percent is people are asked to backup sessions. Sir. 
because he was not able, uh, he was not able to understand like my classes like it is all, already the period only the few people are understanding like a uh, devangu dps and pravin venkat suresh somit and yes these people are understanding because it is nothing but uh, already uh, up to first classes uh, there are attend my classes but remaining people are some classes are missing that is the reason remaining people are not following my uh, class okay uh, but, uh, Okay, then everyone, what we can do that uh, uh, we can conduct entire tomorrow session. I mean to say tomorrow. Okay, uh, on Thursday, entire session would be the backup session, right? So uh, in the two hours, uh, entire session would be backup session. Where about you will learn? There would be no regular classes, right? Only the backup stuffs would be occurring on the Thursday, right? So if at all the people who ever have learned already. And they want to learn it again. Those are also welcome. And the people, obviously, who have left the session, I mean to say, who have not conducted the back sessions, uh, it would be fruitful for them, right? So no regular session on Thursday. We will conduct an entire backup session, and timing would be 6:30 uh, Eastern time, right? This session would start, and we try to finish it up uh, by the Thursday, sir, right? Entire backup session. How does this sound for everyone? Please vote in the chat box. So, did you say the backup session is tomorrow and Thursday? Like no, tomorrow only is one Thursday. Day. Only Thursday, one day, entire backup session. Okay. There won't be any regular class. Okay, so tomorrow there will be regular class. Yeah, tomorrow there would be a regular class, and the Thursday okay. entire session would be the backup session. And I have uh, one more question: Are we are we like once the class is fixed, are we getting the uh, you know videos of, of all the every, sessions? Every 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 session okay. you would be getting the videos, but that too is like I told everyone, uh, uh, the things gonna to work out after Thursday, you know, uh, before Thursday is not gonna to work out because I need to upload all these videos on my website. So uh, it's like uh, there are many videos, and uh, that too I need to talk with my technical person. That how we we gonna to figure it out. But don't you worry. Okay. We are having the backup session. We are organizing it for that. And uh, yeah, uh, also Ram has given the website his own website. So far, it is easy for you guys even to read uh, that website. And also, we will provide you the video recording. But don't Mohan, you worry. Mohan, but Mohan. that too, it will take little bit of time. Yeah. Mohan. Mohan. Yep. Yeah, and uh, uh, last one point because I am. And management people, please remember tomorrow not exactly. I will start the class 6:30. Please remember. Tomorrow not. Thursday, 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 Thursday. Ram Thursday. Is Thursday. Uh, okay, okay. Next regular class also. Each and every class compulsory. Compulsory start with the 6:30. Exactly, that is the timing. Yeah, and that's in your time. timing. Uh, Ram, our timing is 8 p.m. Right, uh, 8 p.m. We are starting. So everyone understand the Eastern time. Ram is talking about uh, the uh, yeah. India time, right? The Eastern time, US time. Uh, we gonna to start by 8 p.m. sharp. Everyone should be there by 8 p.m. Don't come after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, right? And uh, by the Thursday, uh, we gonna to start the session by 6:30, right? In the Eastern time. And we gonna to complete entire backup for everything, right? So everyone agreed. You say yes, just. So regular class will be at 8 p.m. and backup class will be at 6:30 uh, on Thursday. Only, yeah, on right? Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday uh, there would be the backup session. That would be on 6:30. That's an Eastern time. Right. Okay. Okay. And then regular class uh, uh, at eight. Always. Uh, always. Always at eight. And then Monday to Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Monday okay. to Saturday. Every day there would be a regular session. Right. Okay. 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 Thank you. So six uh, thirty p.m. EST time. Uh, Thursday. There would be an exceptional classes. Right. Uh, only for the backup session. It will start ending time. I don't know when the Ram gonna to finish it up, right?
okay everyone everyone is fine do anyone has any kind of the question please ask me right now right away on the website mm, yeah about the website i am going to figure it out and give shoot you all of you the mail right uh, that now we have started and these are your login ids and password i will mail every one of you Thank you. Okay, anyone has a doubt? Just let me know, or otherwise I end the meeting uh, right away. Right? Okay, then bye everyone. Maybe we should. Yeah. Uh.